So what do you do when there's a knock on the door? Do you answer it right away? Do you look to see who's there? Or do you ignore it completely? You might want to make sure it's safe before you open that door. Make sure to keep your doors locked. These videos that I'm about to show you will show you why. So let's... Okay, so right off the bat, that that's just disturbing. Um, yeah, yeah. No no creepy clown's gonna be coming up onto my doorsteps like that. Nope, nope, nope. In this first video, this house's ring doorbell captured a man walk up to the front door in the middle of the night. But rather than actually knocking on the door or ringing the doorbell, the man pretends to do so. At first it seems odd, until you realize what's actually going on. So he's pretending to the knock left on the side door? of the screen, a car's headlights can be seen. It's clear, whoever is driving the vehicle is making this guy walk up and talk to the house owner for a seemingly sinister purpose, as the guy obviously doesn't want to do it. I mean, so much so that he fakes knocking on the door and even fakes a conversation with the house owner. Seems rather all the confused. While, making sure the driver can see him doing so. Yeah, he's very hesitant. Very apologetic. Okay. From the fake That's conversation, weird. it's clear the driver wants the man to look for someone named Matt. One comment guessed the man could have been being forced to rob the place, but didn't want to do it, making him fake the whole situation and claim no Matt lived there. But to this day, the real motives of the driver are still unclear. You know, I've never really seen a robbery go down where someone's just like in basketball shorts. I, I don't know what to actually think about that one. I think that uh, they might have really been looking for somebody and it's possible that they were just confused. This footage features a random woman walking up to someone's front door. The woman clearly isn't acting normal or at least until a car passes where she breaks character so as not to draw attention to herself. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> okay. After the car is gone, the woman can be seen putting her face right up to the camera. You're gonna swallow the camera. After watching the disturbing footage, the house owner would claim he had no idea who the woman was. She didn't even knock or nothing. She, she was just kind of Chilling there. She's like, just come up and just boom, and let me in. Ah! This doorbell Definitely camera video her, no. shows the horrifying early stages of a fire in a neighbor's property. As the video goes on, you can see as the fire gradually continues to grow. So much oh, wow. so that it eventually reaches the house with the doorbell camera. At the time of the fire, the house owner himself was asleep. Though he would be woken up by multiple notifications on his phone, claiming motion was detected by his oh, doorbell God. camera. The heck was After on fire. reviewing the footage, the house owner would frantically run to get a fire extinguisher and desperately attempt to put the fire out. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hot, buddy. Very, very hot. And that tiny little fire extinguisher is not gonna do anything against that fire. Wise words. Get out of that house. You ain't gonna fight that thing. But after realizing it was too late, the house owner would escape through the house's back door. It's pretty safe to say that the motion detected notifications that woke up the house owner saved his life that night. Yeah. Yeah, because that's a big fire. This video captured a woman frantically knocking on this house's front door. Okay. As she continues to do so, she can be seen constantly looking behind her. And that's when you realize why. A man walks up to the woman and proceeds to grab her firmly, telling her to get into the car. All the while, the oh, woman can be good. heard pleading for him to stop. Ooh. 
witnessing a kidnapping? Is that what's going on? was later identified to be 20-year-old Victor Kucic, and he would ultimately be charged with third-degree felony kidnapping. Wow, okay, so it really was a kidnapping, like, crazy. You would think that she's being a little bit more eccentric, um, like yelling help or something. Not that that helps, generally. I mean, you get more of a reaction from yelling fire than you do help. Yeah, we actually just watched a, a real kidnapping. That's kind of creepy. Very creepy. This ring doorbell starts off showing the house owner simply doing her laundry. Though, before she can even enter the laundry room, she can be seen pausing. And the audio from the clip makes it clear as to why. A voice can be heard desperately pleading for help. Yeah, that's strange. It's unclear as to where the voice is coming from. Clearly disturbed and worried it could have been someone hiding around her property, the woman would end up calling the police. I looked out, I didn't see anybody out on the road or any cars or anything. So I went back to my ring video to make sure it was just creatively hearing something. Um, I can hear somebody saying something, but I can't. So, well, I posted it on there. The police would search the whole property yeah, that is but very find odd. absolutely nothing. And to this day, it's still unclear whose voice was talking or even where it was coming from. You know, it could be a skinwalker. And if you don't know anything about skinwalkers, you should check this video up that's on this side over here. Because I made one last time. And it was a pretty good video. Go check it out. After this one, of course. Yeah, that is very strange. The camera footage seems to have captured an almost transparent looking figure walking across the house owner's property in the middle of the night. The figure looks to have no face and it seems to slowly become less visible as it continues to move. The audio from the video reveals the noise of very faint footsteps. Oh, okay. So we stepped in into the paranormal now. Um, that's very concerning. After reviewing the footage and examining around the property, the house owner yeah. found nothing out of the ordinary. See through. And it's still unclear what exactly was caught on video that night. Very that that's disturbing. That you just captured a ghost, maybe. Or maybe it was Harry Potter and his uh, cloak of invisibility. You never know. <laughs> the owner of this house would wake up to a notification on his phone telling him motion was detected at his front door. For a minute there, I thought that was Carrot Top, but then I realized it was an old lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> and after reviewing the footage, this is what he found. There was an old woman with a knife just standing at his front door, what constantly the? shifting her I body weight from side to side. I didn't even notice the, the knife. The woman can be seen awkwardly holding and looking at the knife, as well as constantly glancing all around her. Maybe he compared her to Carrot Top and now she wants to stab him. I can I can understand that. I don't know who would do that. She's there to cut the cake. That is very strange though. Very After a few more seconds, the woman finally attempts to ring the doorbell, but seemingly can't bring herself to do it for whatever reason. What is she doing? No, I keep pausing on this video because this one's actually kind of funny, but... What if the homeowner was just watching the entire time and seeing how hesitant she is with the whole thing? What if he just yelled out, boom, and just scared the crap out of her? I think that would have been hilarious. Yeah. 
woman. After two minutes of footage, it cuts off. It's still unclear who this woman was, or what caused her to walk up to a stranger's front door wielding a knife. And holding a knife weird, too. After it's hearing his weird. doorbell go off, this San Diego house owner would look at his doorbell camera through his phone, and the camera revealed a supposed door-to-door -door salesman waiting outside. The house owner decided to confront the man with the doorbell speaker, and that's when the salesman claimed he was looking for the Robinsons residence at 712 which was not the house he was at. After being informed of this, the salesman would politely apologize for the mix-up. Is this the, the Robinson's residence at 712? Uh, no, you're at the wrong house. It's 721. Oh, I apologize for that. Suspicious of the encounter, the house owner would send the footage to the local police department, who, disturbingly, confirmed that this exact man was suspected of breaking into at least 19 homes, Dang. impersonating a salesman to do so. The man has yet to be caught by police. I don't understand why people break into other people's houses. I mean, obviously it's to steal stuff, but... Leave people's stuff alone. Grow up. My god. Likely taking place during the whole killer clown craze of 2016, this ring doorbell caught the exact moment someone dressed in a clown costume walked up to its front door. Yeah, that's the creepy. The person can be seen tilting their head and slowly walking up to the door, almost the whole time staring directly into the camera. While it's most likely just someone trying to scare people, there's yeah. a small chance something a lot more sinister is going on here. It's probably someone just trying to scare others, but you gotta be very careful with that stuff because you don't know the real motivation. Very creepy. You also, if, if if you're going around doing that crap, which people don't really do that anymore, that was just a whole fad thing. Um, if you're going around doing that stuff, be very careful because there's a lot of armed Americans out there that will shoot you in the face. Yeah. To this day, it's still unclear whether the house owner experienced anything further regarding the situation. He was just trying to be creepy. That's all he was doing, was being creepy. Well, there you go, everyone. That is 10 reasons to lock your doors. Make sure to keep those doors nice and secure because there are some weird people out there. Very weird people. You don't want to get your house broken into. You don't want to get kidnapped. You don't want to get assaulted. You don't want to get shot. You don't want to... Do a lot of things. You don't want to open up your doors to Jehovah Witnesses. Unless you're in your underwear. <laughs> That's all I got for today. If you guys like the content, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Stay casual. I'm out of here.